Russian forces have been raining down missile strikes on Ukraine this month. And as Russian forces have ramped up these attacks, more questions are spreading about where Moscow is getting those weapons. The U.S. and its allies say the artillery is coming from North Korea in violation of U.N. sanctions. Allegations that gained steam following a meeting between Putin and Kim Jong-un in Russia in September. Russia has become increasingly isolated on the world stage. And they've been forced to look to like-minded states for military equipment. As we've been warning publicly, one of those states is North Korea. Our information indicates that the Democratic People's Republic of Korea recently provided Russia with ballistic missile launchers and several ballistic missiles. Now these allegations are being backed with alleged photographic evidence from UK intelligence that was seen by The Guardian. Earmarked for a panel of United Nations experts, the report includes these satellite images taken between September and December, which purport to be Russian ships docked at a North Korean port. Ships that the report says have been under U.S. sanctions since 2022 for their ties to a Russian ministry defense shipping company that was involved in Russia's illegal seizure and occupation of Crimea. While the report acknowledges it cannot confirm what is in the containers on the Russian cargo vessels, UK officials hope it sparks a UN investigation. A UN diplomat saying any arms deal between Russia and North Korea would undermine international efforts to prevent the spread of nuclear weapons. Quote, this and other evidence submitted to the UN Sanctions Committee should trigger a full investigation into Russia and North Korea's flagrant breaking of international national sanctions. The UN panel on North Korean proliferation is expected to make a final report on the matter in February. The unprecedented military collaboration between North Korea and Russia has officials warning that it could undermine U.S. efforts to deter nuclear weapon capability in South Korea and Japan.